we'll guide you through how to transfer photos and videos from your iPhone to a USB flash drive. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, you need to find out what port your iPhone has. So iPhone 15s and newer have the USB-C, while iPhone 14s and older have the lightning port. You can also just look at it as well. And as you can see, USB-Cs have the hole and then they have like a little bar across in the middle. Well, the old lightning port is just a hole. You can also look at the charger cable you use for your iPhone. If yours looks like this, it's like solid. This means that it's a lightning port and lightning cable. And if yours looks like this, it's got a hole. This means that it's USB-C. We need to know that to know how we can go and connect our flash drive to our iPhone. Now, some flash drives are going to be USB-C, and if that's the case and you've got a USB-C iPhone, then you can just plug it straight in. However, as you can see, I've got a USB-A flash drive. So what this means is I need, I need an adapter. Now, my iPhone is USB-C, so therefore I need a USB-C adapter to USB-A. Um, but if you've got a lightning iPhone, then that means you'll need a lightning to USB A adapter. Now, what I'm going to do is go and put a link to Amazon with a load of adapters. Those are affiliate links which support the channel and no extra cost to you. So get the adapter and your flash drive. And then what we can do is plug it in. So I'll plug the flash drive into the adapter. And then what I can do is go and plug the adapter into my iPhone just here like so. Now, when you go and plug it in, you may go and get a pop-up saying something like the USB is taking up too much power. If you get this, this simply means that your USB needs quite a lot of power to work and you aren't going to be able to go and use it with your iPhone. So you'll need to go and get another one. But if you don't get that pop-up, don't worry. As you can see, I didn't. And now we've connected it. We now need to select the photos and videos we want to transfer. So I'm going to go and press select in the top right. And then we can select what we want to transfer. So I'm just going to go and select this one here this one and this one. And once you selected the photos and videos you transfer, click on the share button in the bottom like this, and then scroll down and you want to go and press on save to files. Then what you want to do is go to the top left and press on the back button a few times until you get to this browse page. And then in locations, you should go and see your USB flash drive you just plugged in. So mine is called um, USB, but yours may be called something else, but it's gonna have a little sort of hard drive icon next to it. And then you can click on it, and then you can choose if you want to go and save the photos or videos into a folder. I'm not going to, I'll just go and click on save and then it will start transferring them. The time this takes will depend upon the size of the photos and videos you're transferring. Once the transfer is finished, the file page will just go and disappear and you've now gone and transferred them. And you can always go and look in your USB or your flash drive by going and opening up the files app and then clicking on the browse button a few times in the bottom right or the back button and in locations, you just see your USB, you can click on it, and then you can go and view the stuff you've just gone and transferred. So if you guys found this useful, then please consider leaving a like.